All right, today we are taking a look at the 4K GoPro style camera from Hamswan. Right. Comes in a nice box, nice packaging. Let's open it up. All right, comes in different sections here. Here is the actual camera. Let's pull that out first. Zoom in here for you. So this is the camera in the protective casing. This is your bottom mount, and it comes with all the mounts. We'll show you that after. All right, you got a. This is this is not scratched. It's actually got a little clear screen protector on there, which I'm leaving on for the moment. You pop that up and unhook it, and then break the tight seal there. You see, you got a nice silicone all the way around to keep that protected. And then your camera slides out. All right. Up and down buttons. And as you can see, you got protective screen protectors on there right now. This is your battery in the bottom. That's your SD card and a charging port. The lens also has a screen protector. The battery. Pretty standard type battery here that you can order more of online. that back in. Okay. Turn it on. Power button, also the mode button. Press and hold that. Boots up. Okay. Tells you the mode you're in here, 1080p. Let's zoom in a little more for you. All right, you can see here you're on uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. You have Wi-Fi. Uh, I believe that means that there's no card in there at the moment. Time and date, which you can set here, and sound recording is also on. So, you press the front button, and you get your menu. Well, this is actually a play mode to show you any recorded stuff. Here is your gear, meaning you're in the settings menu. Press the top button, then you can use left and right to toggle through. If you go here, we're set for 1080p, 60 frames per second. If we go into that menu, you'll see here your options are 1080p, 60 frames a second, 1080p, 30 frames, 720, 120 frames per second, which is nice, 720p, 60 frames a second, 720p, 30 frames per second, 2.7K, 30 frames a second. Now that is between 1080p and 4K. And then you have 4K, but when you're in 4K mode, it is only 15 frames per second. Okay, so I prefer to use it on 1080p, 60 frames per second. You can continue, you can see recording sound, you can do time lapse, loop recording, you press the front button, go to the next option, and this is your photo resolution. In photo resolution, you have 16 megapixel, 12, 8, 5, and 2. All right, you can do timed, uh, it has auto mode, it has uh, the photo quality, which is set for very good. Menu button again. You can change your exposure, white balance. You have a driving mode. You can connect it via Wi-Fi to your phone so that you can put this on a tripod and control it with your phone. All right, light source, LED indicators, auto screen saver. Uh, this is where how long after you start recording before the screen turns off to save battery power. So if you're going to record for an hour, you just turn it on. And 30 seconds later, it will go down. Uh, this is auto shutdown. This is when it'll turn off when it is uh, not currently recording. All right. You can have a time watermark on there if you want the time on there. I'm going to go and turn that off. All right. Front button again, and you get into your language, date time set, the format, reset it to factory settings, firmware, so in case you want to upgrade the firmware. All right. Press it again. Now we're back into recording. To start recording, all you have to do is press the OK button, and it will start. I do not have a memory card in there at the moment, so you'll get no detectable TF card. Please insert a TF card. Um, so that is the basics of the camera. You press and hold the front button, and she turns off. Now let's look at uh, some of the accessories that it comes with. As you see on the case, this is a standard GoPro style mount, and these are all the different mounts for it. Okay, and this will go into your tripod, and these this end will go into the GoPro. Just give you a quick view of some of them. This is 
a case that you can put the camera in without using the protective case like you would use for for weatherproofing, weather protection, all right? So you can put it in there, mount it onto your tripod. A whole bunch of different adapters. This is like a bicycle frame adapter, put it on handlebars. You got a whole bunch of different ones. You get a quick view of all the different ones it comes with. Okay, and then the last box in the bottom, some more accessories. Well, you got your manual, you got a screen cleaning cloth, you got some wire ties you might use if you're trying to attach it onto something and you want it a little more secure. Um, you got some self-adhesive pads that go onto certain mounts here. Uh, you can add, you know, stick onto things and then stick the camera into it. All right. This is a whole bunch of different Velcro and tie straps. And there is your USB charging cable. And we still got more. This is another front door for here. All right, a door that actually allows it to mount, but it, uh, I believe these are, there are slots in here. Um, so it's not totally sealed from the weather when you use that. And one more mount that came in this <laughs> particular box instead of the other one for some reason. So there you go, that's everything that comes with the Hamswan 4K GoPro style camera.